Here's my question. It seems like you're saying that even if a man is being nice to you, even if a man is being accommodating, even if a man is running your bath water, you still will not be submissive to him because like you said, that would be giving him the cow, that would be giving him the milk without buying the cow. So even if he is all of these things for you, providing for you in a relationship, you still would not be submissive to him in that same relationship because you don't want to get him, you don't want him to get the milk for free. No, that means that I would do that for him because we're doing for each other. That means we're building. Chanel, okay. you're contradicting yourself now. Got it! Oh, yeah. Welcome to another episode of the Intrigue Dynamite Show. You should hit that subscribe button, like, and share. So in this example, this display, we visit the lead attorney's jail. Once again, it's the gift that keeps on giving. So in this discussion, the lead attorney had an exchange with a he man -she. For those who don't know what a he man -she is, it is a female that can turn her femininity on and off. She resides in the masculine most of the time. And typically when people meet her, the presentation that people see is oh, feminine and nice lady. Oh, but when she's upset, oh, when things don't go her way, she'll turn that off and she resides in the masculine, the he man she, the he man she. So this middle-aged he man she decides to uh, put her two cents in as per what she feels that a boyfriend deserves versus a husband. She said, oh no, she's not submissive to a boyfriend. She's not submissive to a man until she gets married to him. Well, the longer that she speaks, the more the lead attorney digs his hooks into her argument. And in this exchange, you will find that the longer you let someone talk, the more they realize just how much sense they are not making. This is a classic example of Building and repairing your argument while you're trying to fly it. Let's get into it. A wife is submissive to her husband. I'm not submissive to a boyfriend. Okay? So my father and my grandmothers and my mother taught me if I'm dating, don't give him relationship you know, um, vibes. Otherwise, he's never going to want to get you in a relationship. He's going to keep dating other people and not want to just lock you down. Let me okay. start right there. Let me just jump in right. So you're saying in a relationship, uh, you were taught not to be submissive to your boyfriend? That is correct. Who raised you? Because, um, it's not in a relation in the Bible. It's not. That's my faith. It doesn't say be submissive to your boyfriend. It says be submissive to your husband. And you never know what's going on in a relationship. I may ask him nicely, you know, can he draw a bath for me? And he says, I don't know, you got that. You know, you don't know what's the outside, the inner core of a relationship as to why I'm like, well, he can make his own plate. I can draw my own bath. He can make his own plate. You know, it just depends on the circumstances. Let me ask you this. I mean, okay. Do you consider yourself a feminine woman nope. or do you think that your femininity is like a switch? Like you cut it on when you're married and you cut it off when you're not married. Hey, hey, hey. Do you consider yourself a feminine woman or do you think that your femininity is like a switch? Like you cut it on when you're married and you cut it off when you're not married. <laughs> on it's just you have to depend on when it's time to use it no you actually you keep if it's on it's just you have to depend on when it's time to use it you well, okay so, so you so you you're feminine it. by nature but then in a relationship you suppress it but then once you become married you release it because it becomes a growing we're building I'm asking, a is, is that kind of how it works i'm a man so i don't really understand how a woman's femin femininity works okay so i'm depending on you to kind of explain it you're okay. saying that a woman should become should should not be feminine in a relationship should be feminine in her marriage 
And so in the relationship, what I'm asking you is, are you suppressing your natural femininity or do you not have any femininity until you get married? And then once you get married, then your femininity becomes into being. It was at this moment she realized her pathology was starting to backfire. No, my femininity is already here. Mm -hmm. It's not being suppressed in a relationship. You just have to know when to use it. Let me stop. Let me, I don't understand you when you say that your femininity is here in a relationship and it's not being suppressed. Because I thought you said that you become, that, that you, you withhold your femininity until you are married. That sounds like you are suppressing your femininity. No, I'm saying that as a wife, because of my, you know, in my faith, you are submissive to your husband with things like that. So you are not submissive to your boyfriend? No, because that's giving him, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? I've okay. watched my friends do this so that's what I'm asking. for so, years. So that's right. So you're not <laughs> submissive to your boyfriend. Is that right? That's correct. It's okay, another so, word. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, okay, so you're, you're not submissive to your boyfriend. I'm just trying to get, on, I'm a man, yeah. Shana, so you okay. got to be patient <laughs> with me. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work it out in my head. You're not submissive with your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're with your boyfriend, you are you're saying that you are a naturally submissive woman, mm -hmm. but you are not submissive to him. Is that I'm right? Accommodating to him, not submissive. Okay. Looking back on it now as a 48-year-old woman, as we get older, we can look back and we have the value of hindsight. Do you think that it was wise to hold back your femininity uh, until marriage? Does it, does it does it appear to you that that was that that worked? Um, it, it's not necessarily. I mean, I guess I take away when you're saying holding back my femininity. What I'm trying to um, extrapolate is that if he is not doing things for me, and I'm doing nice things for him all the time. When does he ever do something nice for me? He's going to continue to keep thinking, I'm going to do all these nice things and he doesn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. Here's my question. It seems like you're saying that even if a man is being nice to you, even if a man is being accommodating, even if a man is running your bath water, you still will not be submissive to him because like you said, that would be giving him the cow, that would be giving him the milk without buying the cow. So even if he is all of these things for you, providing for you in a relationship, you still would not be submissive to him in that same relationship because you don't want to get him, you don't want him to get the milk for free. No, that means that I would do that for him because we're doing for each other. That means we're building. Chanel, okay. you're contradicting yourself now. We were talking about relationships and marriage. Mm -hmm. And you were saying that you would not be submissive to him in a relationship because if you were, then he would be getting the milk for free. So you are not submissive to your boyfriend? No, because that's giving him, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? You wanted to incentivize him to get married. But now you're saying, oh no, 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 I would be submissive to him in a relationship if he's doing for me. So you're saying two different things. Before you were saying you would not be submissive to him without a marriage because he would be getting the milk for free. That's what you said. You said the cow and the milk for free. Let me ask you, Chanel, are, are you currently married now? No, I am not. 